Hi everyone. A few days ago a game came to my attention because of the unusual story it was trying to tell. In terms of gameplay style, it felt apart from other titles and managed to show something new from what we are used to see in a survival game. I believe it offers a fresh idea to a genre presently full of post-apocalyptic zombie populated worlds. Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey tries to simulate the struggle to survive at the beginning of the human evolution, around 10 million years ago. This game is the first project of Panache Digital Games, a Montreal studio led by Jean-François Bovin and Patrice Tessilly, I hope I got that right, a former Ubisoft main creator who has worked on some of the early Assassin's Creed titles. In this single-player, third-person survival game, you'll be given the task to help your clan survive throughout the upcoming generations, in a dangerous and ruthless prehistoric world. And for the better or worse, no dinosaurs are involved. The way they manage to translate our ancestors' day-to-day -day life into the game offers a completely new gameplay experience. By using just primitive instincts based in knowledge and senses, the character will set off to discover the world while providing means to help his clan survive and prosper. The introduction of unique travel mechanics on two forefeet or jumping between branches, the way they communicated without the use of a spoken language, and how they interacted with the environment by using their limited intellects but exceptional physical skills. Later on, achieving the ability to walk on two feet will help you stand higher and see further, offering a huge advantage as you progress in the game. All these particular gameplay features and mechanics help this game feel quite different from other survival games. You'll be developing your intelligence and skill set in different ways, therefore your actions and choices, like deciding the type of knowledge that is passed on to the next generation, will offer a new game experience each time you play it. Like usual in this genre, you will need to fulfill basic needs, like sleeping or eating. That will also introduce a few distinctive ideas to the game. You'll be able to dream, where you'll be given hints and objectives if you wish to pursue them. The search and discovery of new types of food will increase the variety of nutrients in your organism and help develop your skills through a different genealogical path. Of course, you can also expect a day-night cycle with several weather conditions. Another interesting fact is that there will be no 2D map and you'll have to place marks on your environment to help you guide through the world. A bit like spreading breadcrumbs to help you follow back a path or marking specific spots to let you know that you were already there. The relying on visual aids like particular character animations or effects will be your help on how to proceed. It's if you will like an art mode without the constant presence of a UI or menus. That can make the game harder and scare off some players, but you can't deny that will contribute heavily to the immersion. Developers are trying to stay away from a scripted, objective-based gameplay. Despite specific objectives being presented, the player will choose the way, if and how the clan will overcome these challenges and evolve. It will be possible to expand your territory by exploring new lands on a diverse world with different biomes, like savanna or forest. A particularly interesting mechanic in this matter is when you are at a location for the first time. In this moment, you will enter fear mode, that you will have to overcome by exploring and getting familiar with the new location's fauna and flora. Expected, of course, is an injury and disease mechanic, where you can get ill from weather conditions or from eating and drinking. Injuries can come from fighting against animals, other clans, or by falling down a tree or cliff. You'll be able to make your clan stronger and bigger by creating bonds with other clans or giving birth to future members. Some mechanics are well known and present in other survival games, but like I said before, what places the gamer in a different gameplay experience is the way how the character interacts with the environment due to his biological and intellectual limitations. In other survival games, your character doesn't evolve intellectually. He or she just have to find certain materials or blueprints to be able to build the next weapon or tool. In Humankind Odyssey, you evolve by learning from your surroundings. So despite being the first project of a fairly small company, I was able to see from my research a lot of hard work and passion from the studio base in Montreal. Interested not only about employing people and making a profit, but also concerned on making a good and original game. And with the experience and skill set from the creative director of Assassin's Creed early titles, I believe that we soon might get our hands on a fairly high quality product. The game is intended to be released in 2019, despite still looking a bit raw in my opinion, at least from watching the latest alpha gameplay videos. I hope you enjoyed my short presentation. Uh, if you want to take a deeper look at the game, just follow the links in the section below. And if you found this information somehow useful or just not plain awful, 
and want to help me create more and better content, please share, like and take a look at my website and store. I'll be adding more products in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. I wish you all a good day. Bye.